Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I will be showing you guys how to legit check the Yeezy Zebras. But before I start, I do want to say that I have two pairs right here. This is the real one. This is the fake one. The real one has a tag. The fake one doesn't. And the fake ones are worn and the real ones aren't. But here's the thing. The real one is from the restock. So you're going to see that this spacing right here, it is a little bit wider. Like if I put my finger there, if you look from the heel tab to the end of the 350 from the zero, you will see that there's still spacing left in between. But if you look at this pair right here, my finger fits perfectly in there from the end of the zero to the heel tab. And that's because this is a fake from the first release. And this is a real pair from the restock. So I don't want you guys to get confused and think that both of these are fake. This is actually real, this one's fake. But since I started off on that note, let me start off by saying that the first release was made around 11-16. That's when they started manufacturing them. And then they released, I think, what, January, February? I'm not exactly too sure of the release date. But they began manufacturing these on November of 2016. So if you ever see a pair that was manufactured around the date of November of 2016 and it has a wide gap like this, then you know it's fake because this gap is only on the newer releases, which the newer releases did start producing on March of 2017. And that goes vice versa. If you see a smaller gap like this on a pair that was manufactured around March 17th, then you know that that pair is a fake if it's a smaller gap. One thing that would really help you a lot on legit checking zebras would be having a black light. A black light shows a lot on these shoes because for some reason they use different stitching on some parts of the shoe. I guess they did it for legit checking reason maybe, I don't know. Whatever the fact may be, this will help you a lot because there's many ways to see the differences between the two. And one way to legit check the shoe is putting the black light inside the shoe and if you guys see, there are those stitchings around the corners of the shoe. And those are supposed to glow when you put the black light to it. I'm pretty sure you can kind of see it. But if you look at the footbed, like you see those circles, that thing around it, like all that padding around here, that is not supposed to glow. And this is the real pair right here, and it doesn't glow. I tried it in the fake pair, and it's the same thing. This is actually a really good fake, as I said in the past. The footbed does not glow, but the stitching does glow. And that's actually something that this fake got correct. <coughs> Another way to tell if a pair is real or fake is not by actually checking out the shoe, but looking inside the box. If inside the box there comes like those silicone packs that are supposed to keep moisture outside of the box, then your pair is fake. And that doesn't only go for this release, that goes for any release. That's just something you find very common in replica pairs. Another way to legit check these Yeezys is by putting your black light to the front of the toe box. And if you put it right to the front right here, this cross stitching that goes down the middle of the shoe is not supposed to show on the front right here. As you guys can see, you don't see it at all. And unfortunately, like I said, this pair of fakes is really good right here. So if I try to put the flashlight through there, you can't really see like, you can't see that the stitching goes down the middle. And usually the fake pairs are a little more transparent. Even though the stitching doesn't glow down the middle, this midsole is a little bit more transparent. As you guys can see, show you guys a real one. You can't really see it as much. You can see it's like, this is more of a milky color wave, which is a real one. One thing that I noticed is that when you put the black light to it, down here, there are gonna be little arrows. It's like those mass signs that are less than or greater than. On the real pair, you do see that a lot. I'm gonna turn the light off in a bit to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But on the fake pair, you can barely tell it. Honestly, it just looks like a bunch of dots. And this is a really good fake, so I'm surprised I didn't get that right. I guess it's the way they stitch the shoe up. Now, let me turn off the light and show you guys. As you see right here, I'm holding the real pair. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the arrows, but there are little tiny arrows that are pointing in mostly the forward direction. You can kind of see it there better. But if I show you guys the fake pair, you won't really see it that much. All you're gonna see is a bunch of dots. You guys can see that there's no arrows, like the pattern is completely different. I mean, you can barely even see the dots. So that just shows that this pair is fake. And those areas that I just talked about don't only just show up right here under the SPLY 350, but they show up around the whole shoe and you'll see those little pointy arrows all the way throughout on the white spots only, of course, like the black spots you won't really see it on. And on the fake pair, of course, you can't even see it. There's just like dots all the way around. You can even see it on the black spots where you're not supposed to. And that just shows that this pair is fake. But when I go back to the real pair, all the other things that are supposed to like light up are, is the stitching around the ankle collar, like right around here, the little square right there, and then the square in the middle, well, that rectangle right there, and of course, the square right here. The stitching going down the middle of the shoe, the stitching right here, the cross stitching, the stripe, of course, all the way from the front to the back. That's supposed to be a solid line. And also, if you go back here to the heel tab, I the black light on it you guys can see that when i shine it on there it makes these lines look kind of like darker it makes them look not black but just darker like if i put leave it like that it looks white but i put it there it looks darker than it was before and that just shows that these lines are not supposed to glow only what's around it is supposed to glow so the inner padding basically these are really good fakes they got that right you guys can see that only the padding glows and not the three lines also when you're buying any v2s make sure that these lines are very consistent if you guys see that i hold the shoe like this the lines look perfectly parallel the spacing in between the lines is even they're not inconsistent everything is consistent adidas will not mess this up for some reason i don't know why but fakes some they can't really get this right like if i show you this right here this one's actually really Really good like I keep saying this is a really good fake I can this can honestly fool anybody the spacing in between there is kind of wider if you look at the real pair it is a little bit smaller this one's a little bit wider and the actual lines they're a little bit thinner as well which is probably what's making the two lines in between look thicker I will get into the boost but there's not really much else to show you guys like the real boost is supposed to be very soft if you get a pair of v2s and the boost is really hard then you, that's a red flag I just I wouldn't trust it you know that being said guys that pretty much wraps up this legit check I hope this does help you guys in the future on how to legit check shoes when you guys are going to buy Yeezys especially the zebras because every Every single v2 ha kind of has like a different like technique on how to check if it's legit or not if you guys did enjoy this legit check make sure to give it a thumbs up also share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe as well
Before I go, you guys know that I gotta give a shout out to today's fan of the day, and that is Chaos Hates. Big shout out to you, bro. Congrats on entering the giveaway for this month. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow. Make sure you stay home. Our sneaker sign out.